Rashida Strober. Only dark skin activist, founder of dark skin activism created in 1998. She's interviewed in Harlem after her show on the dark skin activist tour. All right, so I am here with Rashida Strober, finally getting a chance to meet her finally. face to face. Yeah. We have, she's been on my show twice. Yep. Me and Unique. Yep. Unique should be logging on soon. And you know, there were a few people that didn't get a chance to hear the interview, which they can log on and see. Who is that? See, I can't even see. Because I'm so what Heather, Heather Shack. Okay, so let me just say something about Heather really quickly. Mm -hmm. Heather enjoyed you so much the first time that you were on the show. Yeah. She was actually one of the ones that was like, no, she has to come back. Thank you, Heather. And so I don't know, Heather, if you have a question, but we don't have a lot of our time. Um but if you don't have a question that you want to pose, I just want to start off with a question that I've asked Rashida a million times before, which is what inspired her to do um, a dark skin woman's revenge. So in case y'all didn't hear the answer on my show, she can answer now. Yeah, um, just my life experiences of wanting to tell my truth. That's really wanting to tell my truth. In 1998, Rashida Strober created Dark Skin Activism, the first movement in history to advocate for dark skinned people and called herself the Dark Skin Activist. Rashida created the phrases Dark Skin Activist and Dark Skin Activism. Rashida also coined the word darkism. Now, I'm going to stop right there because normally I just do a voiceover for this whole thing, but there are black men, mixed race men, mixed race people, brown people who are intent on trying to take what I created. Everything I've done, people on the internet have ripped off and stolen from. I'm gonna scream, yell, holler, till the day I leave this earth that I am the sole fucking creator of this thing called darkism. Dark skin activism, and also the introduction of colorism, darkism, and dark skin issues to the internet. Nobody else can have that. And I'm gonna fight you for it because this is my fucking legacy based on what is truth that belongs to me. And I'm going to fight you. Now I got a multiplicity of ways of fighting you intellectually. YouTube is just one where I come up on my channel to debunk and refute the fucking lies. Black people have exploited me. Black women have exploited me. I want you to understand everybody that's listening to this and I'm gonna to continue to say it over and over and over and over again. I don't care if I have one view, I'm gonna stand on the truth because you same motherfuckers that talk about, oh, her views. Well, it was a black woman and we don't even know if she's black who caused my views to go down. It was a black bitch that caused my views to go down. And I guarantee you, I told y'all I don't know when. I told y'all I don't know when the lawsuits is going to begin. But I know at some point it's going to happen. The people who have plagiarized, copied, and stolen from me, at some point, I am going to deal with them through the legal system. You will not be able to get away with what you have done. You're going to pay legally and financially. You're gonna play, pay. So let me finish. Let me finish this because people don't know what they're talking about. And you can't stop me. You cannot stop the dark skin activists. You can say whatever you want out of your mouth. Only death can stop the dark skin activists. And death can't even stop me because I, I have a foundation that's already built that black women have exploited and stolen from every single last one of them that is speaking on colorism or dark skin discrimination, except for Cola Booth and of course the great Alice Walker, they have ripped off and stolen from. So let me continue doing my voiceover. Rashida is the first person in recorded history to create a movement for dark skin. Rashida Strober is the first artist, author, actress, YouTuber, social commentator, to focus only on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998. 
She's written more books on dark skin than any person in this world and has been touring the country since 2006. Where were these black women in 2006 talking about colorism? Where were you? You were nowhere to be found. You're all frauds. You're all basing your work off of Rashida Strober. Every last one of you. If you ever hear them talk about dark skin, it is because they've watched one of some of my videos, many, many of my videos, my whole channel. It is because they've read my books, all of my dark skin books. I'm the first person to do this. It is because they've watched one of the, I don't know, I probably did over a hundred and maybe even close to 200 interviews, which is the most that anybody has interviewed on colorism or darkism. They're stealing, plagiarizing from Rashida Strober. And that is a fact. Now, real quick, before I continue, I want to invite everyone, if you want to know the real truth about colorism and darkism, et cetera, on April 23rd, which is this coming Tuesday, I'm going to be presenting live my online course called Understanding Darkism, where you are going to get the truth in a sea of liars. We're going to push those people out of the way. We're going to push those frauds out of the way because this is going to be an ongoing course. This is another way I'm going to disseminate the truthful information from the liars. I'm teaching this course personally myself. So you can't beat me. You might think you can because you got views. Continue with your views. But I'm stronger than you mentally and intellectually. And I'm going to win the war. I will win the war with the truth. This is going to be an ongoing course. And I realize that this is one of the ways that the truth about darkism and colorism, I'm going to get it out is by teaching this course. And I'm going to get it to every corner of the earth because everybody's going to know the truth about the scams and the frauds who have ripped off and stolen my work. I will not let it go down without an intellectual and legal fight, a moral fight. And understanding darkism, if you want the real deal truth, if you are a truth teller, the liars can stay away. I'm not interested in people that lie. I'm only interested in honest, ethical, moral, upright, righteous people. This course is for you and you can go and spread the knowledge. Now, this is the introductory course. So I'm giving it to you at the introductory price. It's going to be April 23rd, this April 23rd, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. OK, now the next time I'll be offering the course is May 21st, 2019. OK, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this course is going to be at the regular price, but it includes the book. OK, and once again, it's going to be ongoing. I do not know the next date that I'm going to give it after May 21st, but it's going to be ongoing. Now, what you can also do, I want to go to my website, which is darkskinactivist.com. You can now sign up for the May 21st course on my website. As you can see, it's right there. All you need to do is click over here. It says click here to register for the Understanding Darkism online course. And once you click there, it's going to take you to the registration page. Got that, folks? Okay. I'm going to scream it to the top of my lungs until I can't scream it no more. And let this be, by the way, let my struggle, because I know that my struggle is going to help someone else. Someone else, if you, if you are a person that has created something and someone has ripped you off and stole from you, fight back. Do not allow people to sit back and walk all over you and take from you and steal from you without fighting for what you know that belongs to you. And I wanna say greetings and good morning to everybody that's taking the time to tune in. I wanna say thank you to these supporters, even thank you to the haters because the haters, they think because they spew their lies and their hate about me they make videos about me. Um, they make comments about me. Your lies and your hate is not going to stop the dark skin activists. I am never going to stop putting out the truth about the fact that I am the sole creator of darkism. I am the sole creator of dark skin activism, which is the very first platform in history 
for dark skin and that other dark skin, light skin, brown skin women have plagiarized, ripped off and copied my work and they're all lying about it. I am never going to stop. Never. This is what I can give you a guarantee on. I'm never going to stop because this fight for dark skin equality is worth it. When I see people that don't give a damn about dark skin until the internet came along, until YouTube came along, and I see my years of hard work, and just because a lot of these people can pay for views on YouTube, or a lot of these people know how to market, you don't have a right to steal my content based upon my intellectual property and take it back to your audience where you didn't speak on anything about dark skin colorism. You don't have a right to do that. And you will legally pay. I am coming for you in a multiplicity of ways in regards to exposing the fraud, exposing the lies. I am hell bent. I will not stop. Watch me. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. Because this, my friends, is an ongoing struggle. This is a part of as you guys know that I've spoken about the phases of dark skin activism. And this is just the part. And, and, and believe me, believe me, I've taken, I am the dark skin woman, the black woman that's taken more hits, more losses than any other black woman in history regarding dark skin equality. Nobody else can say that. You could try to throw in people that never talked about or advocated for, and I mean continuously, and I mean in a way that was deliberate. There is no one else that has done what I've done. No one on the face of this earth that has done what I have done. There is no one. People lie continuously because they don't want to give me my credit because you motherfuckers are evil. You are evil. You are selfish. But your time is coming. Trust me when I say that. There's the saying. I love this saying that the old folks used to say. You could do as much as you want, but you cannot do it for as long as you want without paying a price. You can't. So I'm here to say to you and let the world know that there is only one soul creator of darkism. Darkism, not colorism. I didn't notice I didn't say colorism. Notice that I said continuously, repetitively, that Alice Walker, in fact, I'm the first person on social media to say that Alice Walker. See, people copy everything I do, but never give credit. I made a video about motherfuckers copying me on Cola Booth. Same thing with Alice Walker. Nobody ever talked about Alice Walker on, the, on, on uh, social media stating that she coined colorism. And if they do, they're all copying Rashida Strober. Repeat with me. They're all copying Rashida Strober. And talk about egotistical. The real egotistical people are the ones who would deny that I am the person that created the entire lane on dark skin. The ones that will rip off and plagiarize my work because they're too egotistical and evil and dishonest to admit the truth. Now that's darkism. That's colorism. That's the intracolorism. And the intradarkism that's going on among black women. It's Rashida Strober versus the black women on YouTube right now. Because they're all they've all ripped me off. Every last one of them. One of them is the reason why. And when I go to federal court, I'll be able to prove this. Because I'm gonna sue you. You're probably stalking me right now. Because that's what they do. They stalk. This is what they do. They always stalk me and watch my videos constantly. And then they'll go back and regurgitate what I said and try to dress it up. That's a form of plagiarism. 
It's intellectual property theft. Understand that. One of the black women on YouTube is the reason why my views actually went down and you are going to pay for it. You may think you're getting away. Get your money. Get your money up. Get your money up. I want you to get your money up because I'm going to come for it. I'm going to come and take what belongs to me. So get your money up. This is never going to be over until it is reconciled. We're going to play on the dark skin activist terms. I'm not playing on nobody else's terms because I don't have to. Because I'm the honest one here. I'm the one that's telling the truth. I'm the righteous one here. And that's the fact. Everything I am saying is nothing but facts. Nothing but facts. I double dare someone to come and refute me. And we have some people going around talking about colorism. It's darkism. Colorism and darkism are not the same thing. You will not tell me the creator of darkism. I'm the reason you're saying darkism. I'm the reason anybody's saying darkism. I'm the reason anybody's saying dark skinned activists. You got it from me. Why? Because I created or coined the term. It comes from me. You're not going to come and change the definition of what I, as a writer, a creator, whose work is copywritten with the United States Copyright Office, you don't have the right to come along and change that. You can't legally. You cannot. Darkism is my term that belongs to me. And darkism means the discrimination of dark skinned people. And when you take my course, Understanding Darkism, let's go to it. Whether you take it on the 23rd, April 23rd, this coming Tuesday, or whether you take it on May 21st, we're going to get into the not only definitions, but we're going to get into the history of darkism to where we understand it in depth. And that is why I'm saying I'm controlling this. I'm not going to allow people to control this, the darkism narrative. I am not going to allow thieves, liars, plagiarizers, manipulative people that are stealing my work who don't want to see me get credit. You are not going to control this narrative. You will not. You will not. I own it. The darkism narrative, the dark skin activist narrative, I owns it. Rashida Strober created it and owns it. Just like, let me give you some examples. Tyler Perry owns the Medea brand. Tyler Perry owns the Medea brand. You don't own Tyler Perry's Medea brand. You don't come and tell him what he needs to do with his plays. No, it doesn't work like that. Let me give you another example. McDonald's owns the McDonald's brand. You cannot come along and tell McDonald's what to do with their brand. You don't have the right to do that. But let me throw this out. Again, because I'm dark skin, dark skin women, light skin women, dark skin men, light skin men, all of these people feel that they can take and exploit me. This is darkism. This is the darkism that I'm talking about. They feel that they can come in and take what I created and try to change it up. You will not because I'm going to fight with you. I'm going to fight. When I say fight with you, I'm going to fight you legally. I'm going to fight you legally. Watch me. And intellectually, this is a part of the intellectual war because it is intellectual war. And I'm going to win. Because I'm right. Once again. I want to encourage everyone to go ahead and register. And I'm going to go to the April 23rd darkism course, but you can go ahead and register for that. And it's going to take place at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this coming Tuesday. Taking a sip of my drink. And then I'm going to present another understanding darkism course on may 21st and that particular course comes with the book now you can also for the may 21st course you can now register for it at my website this is my website darkskinactivist.com darkskinactivist.com okay um 
all you need to do is go to the website and uh, of course uh darkism is going to appear there and then you can click the link here and it'll take you directly to the registration link you can also scroll on down and there's more information which all the plagiarizers and the haters they've been to my website they this is what they do they study me to rip off my work this is what they do they're watching right now they're stalkers these stop but just, i'm gonna tell you something stalkers you won't get the darkism course for free that will not be free I'm gonna make you pay for it to all the stalkers, AKA plagiarizers, AKA ripoff artists. You will not get my intellectual property for free. It's not gonna happen. Now, I also ask that you make sure you share this information because it's gonna be shared. It's gonna get out regardless of what these people say because they love to come and I love how they love to talk about views as if that's going to stop me. One view, two views, three views, four views, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna continue. You will not intimidate, bully, or stop the dark skin activist train. You can't, that's a part of the reason why you're upset because you know you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me from teaching my courses. You cannot stop me from writing the books that I've written. You cannot stop me from giving the darkism lectures. You cannot stop me from producing the dark skin activist tour. You cannot stop me from continuing to produce creative works about only dark skin. You cannot stop the fact that I am the originator, the creator, the architect of the first platform in history for dark skin and that everybody else has copied. You can't stop it. That's why you're mad. So that's why you go to different channels and you big up and uh, hurrah people who attack me because you know deep in your heart that you can't stop me. It is the world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. And once again, I want to encourage everyone to register for my upcoming course, Understanding Darkism. One is on April 23rd, this Tuesday. The other one is on May 21st understanding darkism if you want the real authentic honest truth about colorism and darkism i'm gonna be introduced today so without introduction you know our show is not about the host it's about our guest this is the first dark skin activist miss black how are you doing this evening i'm doing awesome i'm doing great now i'm just gonna know why the need or like what is this dark activism about tell, you, you, you tell us well you know what it's funny that you asked me to come on this show in the city of st petersburg because this is where all the the what i call dark skin mental abuse started right here in st petersburg right in the schools right in the city right in my family you know what i'm saying i went to tyrone middle school and it was one of the worst experiences of my life because I was picked on and called the blackest, ugliest girl in the school. Matter of fact, I seen the guy who was the ringleader and I named him CD in my play and I confronted him. It was at a, um, a store, a corner, uh, a corner store on um, Central and I, right next to Amstar. I confronted him and he acted like he didn't know who I was. And he's like, oh, you know, I didn't, um, I didn't say all of this and this, that, and the third. But the point that I'm trying to get across is it's just so ironic because most of the time I've been like speaking to people and, you know, doing radio in different states and doing my plays in different states. And so it's kind of ironic that this is where the dark skin activism, the catalyst for the dark skin activism actually started. And then in 1998, I always let people know I've been a dark skin activist since 1998. I gave my first lecture on dark skin, on dark skin mental abuse at St. Petersburg College during Harambe. And I'll never forget the, um, the day that I did it. I actually won the, the um, it was a speech contest where there was a $250 flyer prize. I actually won. And after I gave the speech, I'll never forget the black males that was in the audience was looking at me like, who this, and she, you know, it was looking at me because I was talking about Alec Weck, the Sudanese model, and they was, people was talking about how black and ugly she is, and she looked like a man, and blah, 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 and she bald-headed. Was, this was coming from black people. So it was during um, uh, a Black History Month, 
and was given the opportunity to enter into a speech contest. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna talk about this because I'm sick and tired of black people uh, denigrating dark-skinned women. And this is something that's all over the world. When I came here, I was just telling you, I just got a message from someone in India. I had put the information in a group called Dark Skin Women United that a light-skinned sister started. And um, it's a lot of Indians that's in that group, and they go through the same thing. But it's levels to this thing, because you could be Indian and dark-skinned, but if you got that straight hair, you're still better than a nappy-headed, dark-skinned woman that looks like me. But and I'm digressing here, but it started at St. Petersburg College as well. I gave that speech on Alec Wick talking about um, how black people was going. I gave the speech on Alec Wick in 1998 at St. Petersburg College, which gave birth to dark skin activism. I want to hone in on that. Tell me of another person. First of all, 98 was before YouTube. YouTube did not exist in 1998. Facebook did not exist in 1998 when I was giving birth to the first platform in history for dark skinned people. Where were these people who are stealing my work in 98? If they care, if they're sincere, this is the issue, the sincerity. Where were you? Nowhere around. You were nowhere around. You were either a kid or if you were an adult or a teenager, you didn't give a fuck about dark skin. You only gave a fuck about it when you saw me after working hard, after being sincere, after it coming from an organic place, you said, oh, I got YouTube. I'm going to go steal her work. It's just like somebody robbing a bank because dark skin activism is a wealth. It's wealth in the way of change. It's just like somebody walking into a bank and robbing a bank to try to take what somebody got. That person is a thief, a liar, insincere, a fake and a fraud. And they usually end up getting caught and doing prison time, which they motherfucking ass deserve right underneath the jail. I don't even care because I don't like thieves and liars. I don't respect those people are the lowest of the low. This is a fight for my legacy. This is the legacy of Rashida Strober, the person that created when nobody cared about dark skin. Everybody before YouTube, back in 98, from 98 all the way up until 2009, they said it's dumb to talk about dark skin. So for these fake bitches that come on here ripping off my work, you're not going to do that without me calling it out continuously. And I won't stop. I know you wish I would shut up and stop. I'm not going to. Don't think that YouTube is my only method. Underestimate me. Do it. Because YouTube is not my only method of calling out the fraud that is taking place regarding dark skin activism. It's not. You got to remember, if you're smart, I keep saying I started this in 98. So from 98 all the way up until 2009, there was dark skin activism taking place, motherfucker. It was always there. So if you're intelligent, you will realize that you're not going to stop the dark skin activists. And this will be this fraud, this bank robbery, because that's what it is. Because remember what I said, dark skin activism is a bank because it's valuable. It's full of wealth. So I see the theft, the plagiarism of dark skin activism as robbery. So this bank robbery, somebody is going to have to be accountable for this bank robbery. This interview, once again, I want to make these th points very clear. This authentic interview took place in 2014. And my question is, where were these people speaking about colorism for views, these fucking frauds? Where were you at? My question is, you backstabbers, you thieves, you liars, you hustlers. In 2015, this is the real big question. Why didn't these very people speaking about dark skin colorism defend the dark skin activists in 2015? Ask yourself that question because they were too busy trying to figure out at that time how to 
bank rob the dark skinned activists. That's what they were doing. That's the objective. That was the objective, as we can see right now. Once again, I want to encourage every single person. I'm going to go back to my understanding darkism course because this course is very important because it's going to lay out in a chronological organized manner the real true history of not only darkism, but also colorism. Save this date, folks. Share this information, folks. April 23rd, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the dark skin activist, myself, I'm going to be teaching this course live. And it's going to be a continuous course because I'm going to continue to fight to disseminate this information all over the world. The next course will take place on May 21st. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the link for the April 23rd course in the chat box. And it's also in the description box. And then I'm going to drop the link for the, <clears throat> the May 21st course in the chat box. And I want to let everybody know that you can also go to my website now and sign up for the May 21st course, Understanding Darkism. All you need to do is click the link and it's going to take you directly to the page. So there's no excuse. All of the information is right here. It's right here. And it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's the part that is really exciting to me. I wanna say thank you very much. Right now, I wanna take the time to say thank you very much to all of the supporters out here because I do have supporters out here that understand on a intellectual and legal level every single thing that I'm saying. And I would like to say to you that I really do appreciate you. And you understand that my tone has nothing to do with you. My tone has nothing to do with you. My tone is the anger and the rage that I have at the bank robbery of dark skin activism, because that's exactly what it is. But I do appreciate the people that can see through the lies and that actually support me. I appreciate you. Um, I really appreciate you. So, you know, I, I, you know, I want, I want, I want to, 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 um, I'm going to go through the chat box right now and, uh, Daryl Phil, I feel, thank you very much. You have been a long time supporter. This person is not on here right now, but if she happens to watch, I'm going to tell you, I appreciate you. Shay 91, shout out to you. It don't matter. I'm always going to appreciate you and respect you. Um, ST Japan Go Love, shout out to you for all of your continued support. Kefra SH, thank you and shout out to you for your support. I appreciate you. Celeste Shu, thank you very, very much. And, and thank you for understanding on a deeper intellectual and legal level exactly what I'm saying when I speak about the, the, the plagiarism, the intellectual property theft, AKA the bank robbery of dark skin activism. Thank you for understanding that. That's actually more valuable to me than money. So I really do appreciate that. I wanna say who else we got? Even all the people that don't comment, cause I know people watch, but they don't comment and you have, that's your right. I ain't mad at you at all. Keep watching. B1 Intellectual X, I appreciate you. You said Rashida, I would support darkism as a light skinned black man, but I see bed witch bed witchism. <laughs> has infiltrated both darkism and colorism. Um, uh, not darkism. See, that's one of the reasons why you need to take my darkism course. Because if you take my darkism course, you will begin to understand that, let's go back to, to dark skin activism. One of the main reasons why I started dark skin activism, I'm gonna get into this in the course, but I'm just gonna say this and I'm gonna be quiet is to reconcile the relationship between the dark skinned woman and the black man. Any, if anybody else says that, they're getting at from the philosophy and opinions of Rashida Strober. So you can't lump darkism. I'm not gonna allow you to lump darkism in that because that's not what darkism is about. This is why I keep saying to you, it is very important for y'all to put y'all money where y'all mouth is and spend the money and take this 
Understanding Darkism course. That's why it's called Understanding Darkism, because your statement indicates that there's some things about darkism that you do not understand. This is the reason why I created this course. That's not true. If you are a real hardcore follower of the dark skin activist, you know that I have been saying from the inception of dark skin activism that one of the major objectives is to reconcile the relationship between a black man and the dark skinned black woman. So take darkism out of that equation. I'm not going to allow it. I can't allow it. This is why I'm teaching this Understanding Darkism course. Once again, it's going to take place on April 23rd, 2019, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get in now at the introductory price, which is $79.99. That's pretty cheap. This course is worth way, way more than that. Or you could take the next course, which is going to be on May 21st, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can register for the, the course at my website, darkskinactivist.com. I highly recommend that you take this course. You Then you'll begin to understand. Of course, being that it's a course, a seminar, it's also going to be a question and answer period. So you'll be able to go in depth with me personally, talking back to me, um, and I'll be answering questions in detail. So register for the course. Anybody anywhere in the world can take this course. It is virtual. It is online. Take this course. Oh, I'm, I'm actually glad I read your comment because, again, it, it's just, it just reminds me, and I like reminders like that to keep me on my toes. It reminds me of why I created the Darkism course, the Understanding Darkism course, because people need to understand the what, who, when, where, why of darkism and dark skin activism. There are so many lies being told and the course, taking the course, you're going to hear it from the creator's mouth. You're going to get it directly from me. You're not going to get it from people that think they know. You're going to get it directly from me because, you know, in history, or in archaeology, there is the person or the people are not there. So they have to look at the historical records left. They have to look at the archaeological finds. But the actual person that created the darkism paradigm, Rashida Strober, is alive. And you will be able to take my courses and talk to me directly and get the answers directly. How much more powerful can that get? I want to thank y'all for taking the time to watch today. The world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video and make sure you register for my understanding darkism course taking place on the first one is going to be this Tuesday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The second one is going to be May 21st, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I advise you to go ahead and get in on the introductory offer for this Tuesday's course because the price is going to go up, but the new price will also include the book. The world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, the creator, the inventor, the architect of the first platform in history for dark skin known as dark skin activism. Thank you all for watching.